Are you picking the lock? What does it look like? Oh, Dad. What do you think you're doing? Looking for answers. This is private property. And you're supposed to be in jail. I'm calling the police. Yeah, you do that, you're going to be the one who ends up in jail. For what? For your part in Stuart Chandler's murder. Really? Welcome back. Where's Ryan? Ryan's not here. We're getting married today. You're gonna be fine. What happened? Where's Ryan? Why don't we talk later, okay? I don't want to talk about it now. Ryan, where... Where... Where is he? I didn't kill anyone. No, you were Adam's private nurse. Who was alive, last I heard. And his brother is dead. Shot by Adam, who confessed. Who was acquitted due to diminished capacity from drugs administered by you. And that puts you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Is this your idea of a scare tactic? Illegal administration of drugs, reckless endangerment, and aggravated assault? Well, I think any decent lawyer could bump that up to involuntary manslaughter. Are you scared yet? This is a joke. Really? Why aren't you laughing? Instead of trying to run. I'm not. Good, because if you did, I'd make a citizen's arrest and unfortunately left my cuss by the bedside table. You know what I'm saying? You can't arrest me. Watch me. Liza, give me the rope. This is harassment. I'll go to the police. You know, it's a funny thing about the law. You actually need witnesses and uh, proof. Otherwise, it's just going to be your word against ours. Okay. What do you want? It's real simple. I want to know what David's up to. Hey, Ryan. Ryan! It's done. You ready? You know everything there is to know. I helped David, he helped me. I bought this bar. Yeah, and this whole six months to live thing, you're helping with that too? Like he told you, he gets his meds delivered here. And does he always come and pick them up? Sometimes. Sometimes, like today. And he gets a phone call, supposedly, on the last Christmas he's going to spend on the planet, and he decides to spend it here with you in a dive bar rather than with his son. Oh, here we go again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Returning to the scene of the crime, huh? I would think that your attorney would advise against that, especially given your aspirations. I just want to get back to Pine Valley. Oh, don't be coy. You may be looking at the next district attorney of Pine Valley. Our last DA died very unexpectedly. How hard is it when you only have a few months to live and everybody just wants you dead? You trying to drive another man to his death? Willis was in a car accident. Oh, of course he was. A life cut tragically short. You know, when young people die, it's, it's always tragic. Present company excluded. You came after me, Tad. You've been harassing me. All I want is to live these last days of my life in peace, but for whatever reason, you won't let me. Right, because I know you. You're not a decent person. You're not the kind of person that's going to drag himself off to the North 40 and just die quietly, peacefully. No, you're going to do what you've always done. You're going to spend your last putrid breath trying to make people miserable, whether it's six months from now or 60 years. All right, you know something? This is really getting tiresome. You want to search the place? Go ahead. Tear it apart. Hey, come on, counselor. Let's see what the mad doctor has uh, oh. sent. Do that. <laughs> 